Turn on full. Pull the blue. Turn on full. Got the green light. Waiting for it to get hot. Um, the only time you really have to worry about the wire is like when you're crossing the furring strip. Like in this situation, you know, you've got guys screwing, screwing drywall through here. You know, there's a potential, if you don't get it back there far enough where these furring strips are lined up, that they could hit it. So you got to make sure you got to get it buried good in there. And that's the only time I've ever had an inspector come up and make me put a kick plate on there, which is crazy because it's kick plate, kick plate, kick plate. And they've got the kind that actually the longer ones that have a screw on each side of it. And we, I've had to use those before. It hasn't happened for a while, but when we first started doing these, whenever we had an electric line going across there, they made us put kick plates on. I haven't done it for a while. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to I'll go this way this time. Um, plunge it in. It's going to go all the way back. It's going to hit the concrete. All across. And um, I don't have one of the best heat guns in the world. Um, actually, I'm cutting into the thing now. Um, they got some really nice ones that are, that are, I mean, they're expensive. Like this is 200 bucks. They got some of them there. $500 it'll just melt the foam instantly <clears throat> um, same thing we'd be we put the box in here run the wire out now again you want to make sure you got plenty of room in this thing so and you hear that little thing I'm hitting did you hear that I'm hitting the, the back of that furring strip and that's what you it's all right if you nip it but What's happened is I'm like, this thing's in the wall, like that, and I'm hitting that little piece of it right there. I'm not cutting through the whole thing because I'm hitting it right here. That's how it's going together. So I'm hitting this piece of it right there. Now on this block, on Integra Spec blocks, it's not a big deal. But some of the blocks, man, like these are solid when they lock up. And you have to cut through that plastic. It's a hassle. I'll show you what it's like though. Let me go through one. I'll show you what it's like. Today. It's eight inches on center. So that's why. But I'm just like I said, I'm just hitting the very back part of that right there. So I'm not cutting the furring strip. Now if you have to, you have to, it's no big deal. 